Ahoy there, Kumi here. This time round, I will be building the low profile dropout. A lot of people swear by the high profile version as it has a superior sound profile and the general consensus is that it is less pingy and deeper so I wanted to see if modding the low profile version would help it become more competitive in this area. The switch of choice for this build is the tried and true Gateron Milky Yellows. These are a popular linear switch with an actuation force of 50 grams. They come generously factory oiled and feel pretty good stock but are noticeably scratchy. Here is the stock sound test. I decided that hand lubing them would be required to improve the sound profile and started the tedious process of removing the factory lube. I have an ultrasonic cleaner which drastically helped with this process, however it can be done the old fashioned way with soapy water and paper towels. Be warned though, it may be tedious enough to cause the impulse buying of an ultrasonic cleaner. I may or may not be guilty of this. Once clean and dried, the housing and the stem was lubed with Crytox 205G0 and the springs were bag lubed with Crytox 105G0. Thankfully there is a noticeable difference. Here is the modded sound test. With the switches done, we move to modding the board. To disassemble, flip over the board and unscrew the seven screws. Carefully remove the back plate, then remove the four iron pieces that serve as attachments for the magnetic feet and separate the acrylic light diffuser from the top piece. Now we can remove the PCB and the board will be fully disassembled. The PCB is hot swap with north facing LEDs and only supports three pins, so be prepared to do some clipping depending on your switches. You'll notice there are LED nodes all around the PCB away from the sockets. These are for the acrylic light diffuser which is responsible for spreading light around the middle ring of the board. Moving on to the integrated aluminium plate and top housing, it accounts for the majority of the empty space in this case, so we'll be firming it up shortly. The stock stabilizers are less than stellar, so I replace them with the trusted Durac plate mounts. For the reassembly, start by putting in the plate foam. I made mine out of 2mm thick EVA foam. Then comes the PE foam and tape PCB. Be careful not to cover the LEDs around the edges as they face the bottom of the PCB. Next, add another layer of PE foam between the PCB and acrylic light diffuser to try and fill as much space as possible, then clip on the diffuser. Once that's done, add a layer of 1mm thick EVA foam in the middle cutout of the diffuser and place back the four iron pieces. Lastly, clip in the back plate and screw in the seven screws. Finish off the build by putting the switches and keycaps. Overall, I think I accomplished my goal by pretty much filling the board with foam. The PE foam does its job by adding a marbly touch to the sound, and the rest fills out the hollowness. Do note that whilst it's not very audible in the sound test, the full milky yellows are still scratchy even after lubing. So if that is something that would annoy you, then I would recommend picking up the black bottom milky yellows. They're less scratchy, but you do lose a bit of translucency for that RGB goodness. As always, any and all feedback is welcome as I am still learning and looking to improve. My next build will hopefully be out in a week. Now, on to the test in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> 